So in, in the early days of uh, defining the SKA science case, which was uh, a, a few years ago, almost 10 years ago now, we defined five key science goals. Uh, the top two, the two that we're pursuing with the first phase of the SKA, are exploring the history of hydrogen, hydrogen the most common element in the universe. And we want to understand how hydrogen has influenced the evolution of the universe all the way back to the Big Bang. From that, we'll understand dark energy, dark matter, uh, the evolution of galaxies, the first stars. Uh, it, it, it's a dramatic uh, science goal that we're pursuing. Uh, an excellent analogy is looking uh, in, uh, at geological strata, looking back through the Earth's history. The further you get back, the, uh, the closer you get to the, the formation of the Earth. And it's similar with looking at hydrogen across the universe's history. We'll be able to see what happened at those individual epochs. As the, the second major science goal is using pulsars. These are the, the rotating remnants uh, of massive uh, stars that exploded and, and are essentially uh, dead. There's, these are the rotating remnants of the cores of those stars. They are the most accurate clocks in the universe. They emit two beams of, of radio radiation. Uh, it's like a lighthouse. The, star, the, the cores are rotating very rapidly and as each beam comes across in front of uh, our line of sight, we pick up the, these pulses of radio emission. But these are incredibly accurate clocks. They're distributed all over the galaxy. And by measuring networks of these clocks, we can, see, we can study fundamental physics. We can see the passage of gravitational waves. Uh, there's an enormous amount that will come from the study of pulsars.